checking the lawn. Yeah, squirrel's been out here seeding too. I probably should stay off of it, huh? He's gonna be a little upset. PR. What's happening, fellas? Check out this absolutely awesome Yamaha YZ252 stroke. This was the epitome of two stroke development. The, the 90s, they had switched over in 98 to the four stroke and stopped developing it. This is about as good as it ever got, and it is really good. This is an awesome bike. The guy that owned it before us used it for woods riding. It wasn't raced motocross, so it was in really good shape. The engine had been rebuilt by him. We did a compression test, so it was 180 PSI. We didn't have to do too much to the motor, but I'll go over with it, you what we did do. Um, the power valve was, was dismantled and cleaned, decarbonized. The exhaust gasket was replaced. It has a pro circuit platinum pipe on it, which is really nice. It absolutely rips. It's got the, on the back here, you can see it's got the pro circuit uh, silencer to match the platinum pipe on it. The um, carburetor was rebuilt cleaned and rebuilt by, by the wizard here. He put all new hoses on it, new air filter. It's a key and carburetor, 38 millimeter, I believe. The ignition cover gasket was replaced. The engine was cleaned, steam cleaned, and the covers were repainted, so the motor looks super fresh and clean, it is. The radiators are in excellent condition. Those are repainted. All the radiator hoses are in great shape. It has an aluminum skid plate on the bottom of it to protect the engine cases and the engine frame rails, which is excellent. It has an upgraded set of uh, foot pegs. It's got the Tusk uh, shifter with the anodized aluminum end cap. It's got the works connection frame protectors on here also. Uh, has a new gold chain and sprocket on the back, and it's got a nice set of Takasago XL gold rims, which really add a lot of class to the bike. Um, it's a 98, but it looks thoroughly modern. The full plastic gra and graphics kit has been upgraded. It's got a factory effects Yamaha GYTR graphics kit on it with the number one uh, number front and side number plates. It has the air new graphics on the air box, the graphics on the rear fender. Uh, all the plastics are in excellent shape on it. The tires are brand new front and rear, as are the tubes. These are uh, Dunlop Sports K952Fs on the front and a, a 952 on the rear. The um, handlebars have been upgraded to Pro Taper bars. It's got Pro Grip 801, 801 uh, blue and gray matching grips on here. They're black Pro Taper bars with a Pro Taper crossbar pad. The front brake line is a, upgraded to a braided stainless brake line. It's got a uh, shorty anodized tank breather hose. And I've got a, a bunch of uh, notes here on the work order. I'll go over just to make sure I didn't miss anything. The bike was steam cleaned, degreased. They painted the frame, the engine, cleaned and polished the aluminum swing arm, the wheels and the spokes and the forks and the triple clamps. They um, polished the plastics in the tank. Uh, and then of course, put on the new graphics and uh, gave it a full, what we call a rotisserie detail. The clutch is brand new. It's got a brand, brand new clutch plates and fibers and springs uh, and a, a new moose clutch cover outer gasket. It has a new clutch actuator arm, new clutch push rod. It's got new Maxima 75 volt transmission all this. Uh, it's got a new universal pipe mount bracket and a new pipe O-ring seal and a new pipe slip joint seal, as you can see right here. That keeps inside there, that keeps the um, any two stroke smoke from coming out in that area or, or uh, any oil. The um, front sprocket is new. The carb vent line is new. Uh, of course, I mentioned the grips. It's got a new throttle tube underneath this grip, not just a new grip. It's got the throttle tube under there. A new power valve seal and O-ring. And of course, the tires, the new gold chain, and the graphics kit. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything else. The carb was cleaned and jetted. Uh, throttle housing was replaced. Cables were lubed. Um, replaced the handlebars and the grips. The air filter was replaced. Uh, new new pipe seals, O-rings and springs. Um, replace the clutch springs, fibers and steels. Replace the clutch push rod. Detail the inner clutch hub spines. Detail the clutch basket fingers. 
new clutch cover gasket, new tranny oil, new front sprocket, new chain, new swing arm, new swing arm chain buffer. That's on this side right here. Uh, that's a service wear item that's been done. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything. It's running VP110. It's jetted uh, quite well. It runs awesome. It's got a lot of new hardware on it also. So just a kick-ass bike. The seat cover has been upgraded and replaced also. So the work order came to a total with parts and labor, $2,976 was invested into it. Definitely an excellent year for the Yamaha. I can tell you this, um, Junior, when he was a, uh, still is a 450B rider, but when he was riding in the 250B class on a 125 Yamaha, he can run 125 two strokes, 254 strokes or 252 strokes in New England in the same championship class race. And he was a mid-pack rider running, you know, 15 to 20th out of 40 riders in most races on the 125. Couldn't buy a start with it. The very first time out, how old are you? Were you 15 or 16? I think you were 15 years old on a, on a YZ250 two-stroke. Very first race. Still not familiar with it. Got a massive hole shot and led for 20 minutes out of a 20-minute plus two-lap race. Crashed with two laps left to go with, with a big lead. So nothing changed in his riding skills. Uh, he was still the same rider that was running mid-pack the year before, but he had the power uh, to put to the ground. And riding this thing, um, coming up the driveway, I can just crack the throttle at like 4,000 RPM. It'll stand straight up. You don't have to rev this out like a 125. It's got a lot of torque to lift the front wheel for off-road application. That could be for jumping a log for motocross. It's to get it up over the whoops um, or keep the front end light through the sand or through ruts. Just a fantastic piece, and um, it's, it's well sorted out. Without spending 10 grand on a, on a new two stroke, you can buy this bike and go out and have some fun. And that's what it's all about. Junior, is there anything you'd like to add? YZ250 Motor Stout, guys, uh, KYB Forks. This is definitely a, a killer package. And, and like Senior was saying, peak of production, really. Um, I don't really know what they changed on the, on the motor, but. I don't think they changed much, much at all. It feels very similar to the two stroke that you were running. Yours had a pro circuit porting job, so. You had a full pro circuit motor on yours, so yours was probably five horse more than stock. Um, so it was a little more stout than this one. The but. new aluminum frame is definitely a little bit um, uh, shorter and tighter. So for, for bigger guys, the steel frames, um, you know, feel a little bit more natural. That's why uh, I like riding the 89 CR500. The steel frames are... are uh, I think the vibration characteristics and the flex, flex characteristics on the steel frame are, are different also. Um, you feel very little vibration on this bike. It's been thoroughly detailed, gone through by the wizard and the detail crew, ready for a new home without spending a fortune. Get yourself into a nice crisp 250 and wheelie off into the sunset. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. I'll show them the back of this jersey. This is Barry Hawkins' factory jersey when he was a Yamaha GNCC rider um, from the same period, and I had this in the museum on display. So I gotta grab my Hawkins jersey with the matching MSR. This is a factory Yamaha rider kit right here, so it's not something I would ride in a motocross race in trash. It's for display only, but I thought it matched the bike nicely. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, whoever gets this bike's gonna have a lot of fun this summer. Thanks for watching, and God bless the United States of America.